Hey everyone, welcome to Post to Post, Dallas versus Minnesota. What happened? What what happened to this series? The last like two or three games, it was just like, it's not the same. The first half of the series was so different from the last half of the series. It's not, I mean, I was going to say it's not disappointing. It is disappointing, but it's like, I just wanted more of the first half of the series. I felt like Minnesota just like, every bit of wind just kind of left them. And they were just, I don't know, they just didn't have it in them. Let's look at some stats and let's talk about a few, few key points. Let's bring it up. Dallas versus Minnesota. We goals for, let's start there. Goals for 21. Dallas can put the puck in the back of the net versus 14 for Minnesota. Goals against 14 to 21. Obviously, that's just a, the, the differential there, or the difference. Uh, power play percentage, 37.5%. Excellent power, power play percentage from Dallas there. 18.2% from Minnesota. Uh, actually, not that, that bad of a power play percentage. Penalty kill, 81.8 from Dallas. Decent. And uh, Minnesota, 62.5%. Very, very poor. Shots per game, 31.7 for Dallas and 30.7 for Minnesota. You know, roughly even. Uh, shots against, obviously, is the opposite there. Face-off percentage, Dallas was dominant in the face-off dot. 56.3% versus 437 That is an that's an excellent, excellent percentage. If you look at an entire season and the averages of most teams, 55% is really, really good. Like, top tier for an NHL team, and 43 would be very, very bad. Most teams hover around the 48 to 52 kind of range. Uh, so 56 versus 43 is you know pretty substantial, actually. Obviously, there's less games to get the data and stuff, so the percentage is going to be a little bit skewed and further apart. But still, you know that's uh, pretty impressive by the Dallas Stars there. I thought that Hintz was amazing. Ropey Hintz, uh, Heiskanen was great, and obviously Ottinger was fantastic. A couple of like moments in the Dallas series or the series that Dallas looked a little questionable. Like, we'd get one Dallas team in a period, and then the next period is, like, not the same team at all. But the same can be said for Minnesota as well. I didn't feel like Minnesota had the, the oomph. Like, I think about players like Reeves. I think the best word I can think of is, like, impact. That's the type of player that you want to have impact in a playoff series. That's the type of player that is literally on your lineup to have impacts in games and to, you know, kind of flick the switch if your team is down flick the switch and and try and kind of, uh, you know, pump the guys up. And Reeves can actually, he's pretty offensively gifted as well when he really wants to be. So, and I just felt like he was, like he was kind of doing his thing a little bit, but I just feel like even when he tried, like nothing really happened with the rest of the team. I didn't feel like there was much pushback, especially in those last three games. Um, I mean, obviously there was moments of pushback, but I mean, just in general, and that last game was just, I don't know. I, I just felt like even like the, the, the fans we're just in that last home game for the Minnesota Wild. The fans were just kind of like not into it. So I, I'm, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, di I'm, I'm disappointed. I probably would have bet, you know, if any of the series, this one would probably go to seven and it didn't. So I'm glad I didn't bet money, obviously. But I just, uh, I'm, I guess I'm confused a little bit. And I don't really know how to, like with Winnipeg and their loss, there's things you can kind of point the finger at and kind of, you know, that this, they lost because of this and they lost because of that. But with Minnesota, there's, I just feel like there's nothing like tangible to kind of grab onto to blame. So I'm not exactly sure where Minnesota goes from here. It's the same old story. They're kind of a team that has a lot of potential. They're a bubble team. Some years they get in, some years they don't. The years they do get in, they don't go far. It's the same story that we've heard a thousand times with the Minnesota Wild, and it's really frustrating. Um, I'm not a Wild fan, but I... I enjoy the team. I like watching the team, and I like a lot of players in the team. It is frustrating just as a hockey fan to, just to see them, you know, get up there and do the same play and the same story every single year. So, I don't know. I think there's a lot of frustration uh, with with uh, with Wild fans for sure. I don't know if it warrants drastic changes, but um, I still think the future is bright for Minnesota. So, who knows? We'll see. Let me know what you thought down below in the comment section of this series. We'd love to know. Uh, we'd love to know how you feel. Hope you guys are having a great time watching hockey. As I film this, there's not been any more eliminations. Okay, there have not been any more eliminations, but they are coming because there's three games on today as I'm filming. So you know, maybe there's going to be some more of these videos coming pretty soon, likely tomorrow. If I, depending on when I release this. Uh, anyways, you'll see me soon. Is kind of what I'm saying. So enjoy some hockey. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. We'll talk to you soon. Adios. Wow.